program Heron's formula on the graphing calculator. The first three minutes or so of this video will be spent giving a little history on Heron and also developing the use of Heron's formula. To get right to the programming details you can skip about three minutes ahead. We're going to look at Heron's formula which was invented by the Greek inventor and mathematician Heron while living in Alexandria. This man Heron was really great and prolific as an inventor. If we had to look for his equal in more modern times, perhaps Thomas Edison, the Wizard of Menlo Park, might be a good comparison. Of all his inventions, including a steam engine, the invention he made that is perhaps most apparent today was the vending machine. He created a vending machine that dispensed holy water paid for with coins. When a coin dropped in, the machine would dispense a dose of holy water that had been blessed by the priests. But today we'll look at his formula, and this is it. For any triangle with side lengths A, B, and C, the area of that triangle can be calculated by taking the square root of S times quantity S minus A times quantity S minus B times quantity S minus C. Don't confuse this formula with the Pythagorean theorem where C is the hypotenuse. In using Heron's formula, A, B, and C can be any different sides of any triangle. However, in order to solve the equation, we need to know what S is. S is the semi-perimeter, or half, of the perimeter, or all sides of the triangle added together and divided by 2. Let's work a problem. We have this triangle with sides of 7, 10, and 5. I hope you can see that without a formula like Heron's, we would have to do some work to find out the height of this triangle before using the equation or formula area equals 1 half base times height. The first thing we do is find S. We substitute 10 for A, 7 for B, and 5 for C. It doesn't have to be in that order, but that's just the way I did this time. That would give us 10 plus 7 plus 5 all over 2. And that would end up being a value of 11 for S. Now we plug in 11 for S and 10 for A, 7 for B, and 5 for C again. And this is what it looks like in the calculator. To get the square root sign, press second, then the x squared key. I hope you can easily see that what is typed into the calculator is this formula with the numbers for all the sides A, B, and C, along with the 11 for the S, or semi-perimeter. And the answer is 16.2481, or about 16 and 1 fourth squared units. That answer should make sense. If we use 10 for a triangle base, its height would be about 3 units according to this drawing. 10 times 3 is 30, and 30 divided by 2 is 15, pretty close to the 16 and 1 fourth calculated using Heron's formula. Whenever you have a formula with this many elements, having a program can really help much like in the instance of using the quadratic formula. In a two-part formula like this one, with all the inputs, there is an intermediate step, then a final step, where a lot of numbers have to be entered correctly. I have found that in a formula like this, it can be really helpful to have a program to make the calculations for us. Such a program could help us solve the problem more quickly, but even more importantly, avoid opportunities for mistakes. To be clear, when we mention programming here, we're talking about using a TI Inspire, in this case a TI Inspire CX graphing calculator. If you have an interest in programming a TI-84 series calculator, I have a link to such a video shown here at the lower left of the viewing area. You can click to go there. Now we'll start writing our Heron's Formula program. Press the Home key at the upper right of the keypad. Press Enter on Add Calculator to add a calculator page press the menu key. Scroll down to option 9, functions and programs. In this video lesson, when I say to scroll down to an option and press enter, you may press the number of the option. I use the scroll and then enter method to show more clarity about what steps are being taken in the program. Press enter. The first option, program editor, is highlighted. Press enter to get to the program editor. New is highlighted. Press Enter to choose Option 1, New. This is the New Program dialog box. Enter the name for your program. I'm choosing Heron's Formula for Heron's Formula. Tab down to the OK function. Press Enter. This is where we'll enter our program code between the PRGM and the NPRGM. But first, 
expand the split window to leave more room for program coding on the right or programming side of the split window. Here is the window split moved to the left to allow for more room on the right side. You can do that with the cursor. Move the cursor down to where the space between program and NPRGM is where the cursor is blinking after the cursor is moved there. Press the menu key. Scroll down to option 6, the input output option. Press enter. Alternatively, you could have pressed the 6 key. Arrow down to option 2, request. Press enter. Now we'll enter an opening quotation mark. Press this key at the right of G and below the enter key. It's the key with the question mark on it. Scroll down to the quotation mark option right below the question mark. Press enter. There is a set of quotation marks between which we will enter text. Now within the quotation marks, enter what you see here. Enter side A as shown. The capital letters are made with the use of the shift key and the spaces made using the space key to the, next to the Z, just to the right of the Z. Next, move the cursor outside and to the right of the right quotation mark. Then, press the comma key. Now enter the A character. This is our first line of program code. Press enter. There is now a blinking cursor on this second line. The second line of code is very much like the first line. First go to the menu, then scroll down to I-O for input output. Press enter, then go to option 2, request. Press enter. Enter enter side B within quotation marks just as done on the first line except for using B instead of A. Then enter the comma then the letter B outside the right quotation mark. Press enter. Now enter the third line of code exactly as the first two lines except using the letter C instead of A or B. Now press enter. We're down now to our fourth line of code. We're going to define a new variable. Enter the letter S. Next, press the question mark key next to the G key. Scroll to the second from the left on the bottom row, the colon character. Press enter. We now have the colon in place. Press the equal sign at the left of the keypad under the control key. Now enter the division bar by pressing the control key, then the division key. Now fill in the right side of the equation so we have S equals A plus B plus C over 2. Now arrow to get the cursor to the right of the equation. After getting the cursor to the right of the formula, press enter. Press menu, then scroll down to the I-O option 6 for input output. Press enter. We are now at option 1 at the top, DISP for display. Press enter. Go to the question mark key. Press enter. Enter. The area is within quotation marks. Try to leave a space after the word is. Now, move the cursor to the right of the rightmost quotation mark. Press the comma key. Enter the radical by pressing the control key, then the x squared key. Enter Heron's formula under the radical. S times quantity S minus A times quantity S minus B times quantity S minus C. Place multiplication operators between S and each set of parentheses. I'll pause here for emphasis by issuing an error alert. In fact, I myself got an error message the first time I ran this program because the calculator sometimes sees letters as text if multiplications are not made. Now scroll back up and make an open line under PRGM by going just to the left of the first request and, enter, and pressing enter. Next, on the open line, enter del var space A and press enter just as shown with the capital, capital D and capital V. Next, enter del var space B and press enter. 
And next, enter Del Var space C and press enter. And finally, ent enter Del Var space S. And do not press enter this time. These last four lines entered ensure that the calculator has these four variables cleared of data and will not be using earlier data to make its calculations. Now we'll test the program for syntax errors and save the program. Press the menu key. Go to option 2, check syntax and store. Press enter. Press enter again. After a brief few moments, we get notice that the program Heron's Formula was stored successfully. Now we'll use our program. Now make the split screen larger on the left side by moving the split over to the right. Next, move to the cursor, or move the cursor on the left side, and type in Heron's Formula and the left parentheses. Press Enter. We're given the prompt to enter side A. We're going to enter the values of the triangle we looked at earlier in this lesson. Enter 10. Now we're at the enter side B prompt. Enter 7 for side B. Press OK. Go to the OK button, press Enter. Now we have the enter side C prompt. Enter 5 for side C. Go to the OK button press enter. We get an output of 16.2481, which is the answer we got at the beginning of this lesson. Lastly, we'll go to the home button, and this last thing we do, we'll save the program to the calculator's memory. Go to New Document. We get the message, Do you want to save unsaved document? Press enter for yes. Now we have a Save As dialog box. Enter the program name, Heron's Formula. We quickly got a Done message, then went to this view. Now we'll go back to check My Documents, and this is what we see at the very bottom of My Documents, our program, Heron's Formula. Press Enter to go back to the Heron's Formula document. We see that we are at the document just as we left it. Enter Heron's Formula, open parentheses again, and there it is. We get our prompt, enter side A again, and after entering 15 for side A, 12 for side B, and 11 for side C, this is what we get, an area of 65.238 square units. And that's all for this lesson. This program should help you in two areas. First, solving these types of problems more quickly, but secondly, and even more importantly in my opinion, eliminating opportunities for mistakes. This has been Program Heron's Formula on the Graphing Calculator.